Hey guys, Aceplay here, and welcome back to another Stickware video. Today, I'm going to do a little bit of a different video. I'm actually interested in teaching you guys how you can mod Stickware 2. But, obviously, we got to start somewhere. Uh, coding stuff is very difficult, and it can take a bit to get used to, so why not start where uh, the easiest changes can be made, and that is the unit stats. But before we get there, we kind of have to get the thing that lets you do the modding. So that is JPEG's decompiler for Flash. And this probably works on a whole bunch of Flash games, but specifically, we are talking about Stickware 2. So you're going to go to this link in the description, this GitHub link, and you are going to scroll down here and go to latest release. And here you can find the release that you need for your computer. I am interested in the Windows installer, so I will be doing that now. So once you have installed JPEX, you're going to open it up and do a first time setup. And that is simply linking your flash to uh, the path. So we're going to go into settings, advanced settings, and go to paths. And number one and number two here, you're going to want to put your flash path. You can use debugger normal, both will be fine. And uh, don't worry too much about the other stuff. But after that, we are one step away from modding stick or two. All that's left to do is to head over to the Stickword Discord and go to the Welcome tab where you can find all the Swifts to the original games that I so graciously procured for you guys. I can assure you they're not a virus, but keep in mind, Swifts are sketchy. So make sure you're getting them from a reliable source before you download them and open them randomly. Now, after downloading the Swift, we can head back into JPEX, and we are simply going to drag it in. And once we drag it in, we have all of Stick War 2 decompiled. Uh, all the scripts, all of the frames, all the shapes, the sprites, the sounds, the images, the buttons, fonts even, they're all here. And that's pretty awesome. It basically uh, lets you mess with anything in the game. So what we are interested in today is editing units, and the simplest way to do that is, of course, in the game constants. So in the binary data folder, you guys are going to want to export this file, um, and you're going to want to open it with your favorite text editor. I am just going to put this in my downloads for now. So I'm going to open this bad boy up with Notepad, but you can use whatever uh, text editor you feel like using. Notepad++ is another great choice. And uh, basically, this is most of, if not all of, the stats for things in Stick War 2. Uh, Stick Empires, obviously, it'll be changed because there were a bunch of balance changes and all that. But you can see it follows this very simple format of having something and then doing whatever in the middle, and then having that same something with the slash afterwards. That's how you can pretty much dictate everything. Uh, so, for example, if we want to go hit up the Sword Wrath, so we can locate the Sword Wrath, and then we have all the Sword Wrath information, including the name, uh, it being a high damaging unit with low survivability, as the description, the hotkey, the cost, and all that, and to demonstrate that we can change things, I'm just going to keep it real simple. We're going to change the Sword Wrath to the Changed Wrath, and we're going to make their price a single gold, and uh, their cooldown can be like 30 frames. So that's one second. Uh, 30 FPS is the frame rate for a stick war. If you want to find out how long things take, uh, divide by 30, and you'll get the amount of seconds. So I think that's pretty good. And we could even like give ridiculous weapon reaches and all that, but just for the sake of example, I think this is a good enough change. So now we're going to head back into JPEX, and all you're going to do is right-click what you changed here in the binary data, and you're going to replace, and then you're going to open this new saved text file. And you can see there's now a change in the game, and the way you can test this out is by either saving it to the Swift itself, which I wouldn't recommend unless you know for a fact you didn't cause a break or like crash in the game. Uh, instead, I would use run in the JPEX itself, and as you can see, here comes the Stick War 2 Swift opening up and being all cool. 
And if we head into the first level, we should be able to witness our changes in action by skipping the tutorial. Here we go. We got the change draft, and they cost one gold, and they take one second. And here they are. And that's all it really took to modify the stats of Stick War 2. Now we can just watch this Spearton get absolutely demolished by all our guys, and they are just simply schmoovin'. So, there you guys have it. This is how you can edit the units very simply in Stick War 2. Now, there is also this other binary data here, which is for the campaign constants, and you can edit this as well, so do the same export thing as previously. And now you're able to edit all the campaign constants. And what do I mean by campaign constants? Well, basically, all the levels and uh, all the enemies and all the units you get access to and all that. So you see, we open up with campaign, make sure this is always on top or nothing's gonna work. And uh, you open up with the level, it's called the tutorial. It has map number two and it has the story, the amount of points you're gonna get for winning and the player race, and the statue health, and the units you have access to, which is just a sword wrath. Uh, you can change these as well. So you could, uh, for example, so let's say that I also got an enslaved giant in the first level, or the ability to make one at the very least. That's a pretty significant change, and we should be able to see that very easily. So I'm going to save and head back into JPEX, do a little bit of replace action, make sure you don't replace the wrong one, or it's gonna crash, and then we will run it and witness our changes. So you can see, as we skip, we have the Enslaved Giant, and obviously we can't afford it, but here it is, showing up on the tutorial level. What's up with that? Well, we modified the campaign constants, so there you go. It is also important to note that if you make even one spelling mistake literally anywhere, so let's say you did something like flipping these tags around so that it opens with the closed one and then closes with the open one. That is all it would take, ladies and gentlemen, to crash the game. Something as simple as just one slash is really all it takes. And then the game just will crash and not even load. And it's going to be a lot of trial and error. Crashing Stick War 2 is a rite of passage to modding the game. You're going to have a lot of failures, and those successes are going to be awesome, but make sure you are saving every step of the way that you know isn't broken, so you don't lose a lot of progress, and double check that everything matches up with everything else that exists in the script. Like, if you're trying to find how to find Enslaved Giant and you didn't know how it was going to look like, just go to wherever the Enslaved Giants are and find out, or the Bomber. It's important to keep in mind some of these units have inaccurate names nowadays uh, compared to what they eventually became. For example, the Juggernaut is just Knight, so if you put Juggernaut, the game would crash or do nothing, and uh, that's not what you want. So make sure that you look around for what has been done prior and try and build off of that. It's a lot of useful information here. Um, so this is part one of many. I don't know how in-depth I want to go on this exactly. But if people find it very interesting and want to learn more, I wouldn't mind sharing more because I have been modding Stick War 2 for quite a while now and I have a lot of knowledge that I would love to share with other curious minds. So, yep, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what else you guys want to know about modding Stick War 2 and I can try and get back to you on that. And as always, have a great day.